All right, this one's gonna be on, believe it or not, Windows 95. Someone actually created a little uh, electron container app in here. Um, so this is a program, really simple. If you ever have any issues with this, um, you can do like a reset or a discard um, state, and I'll go back to like the default. Uh, they do have like floppy disk support. So you can actually use, uh, you know, software that's, um, Created for Windows 95. Haven't tried that, so I'm not sure if it actually works or not. But anyways, um, let's start the program. Just click on here. Uh, the hotkey you remember is Escape, and this will toggle between your desktop mouse and you know inside the container's mouse cursor. All right. So anyways, this is the program. I'm gonna try to be brief because uh, with my screencast on, it will have like a lot of screen tearing with this program. Not sure what the reason is, but. We'll try to do as much as we can before that happens. Oh, there you go. So, uh, as far as the program here, you can still do the stuff like, uh, you know, Windows 95. This is pretty cool, you know. Um, believe it or not, this is the first operating system that I use at home. And, you know, that's where I learned uh, to do, like, basic computing. And it wasn't even my computer. It was my sister's computer. And I have to use it uh, in her room, um, you know, before she gets home, which was like every like one or two hours after school. And then she gets home and I have to get out of her room. And so this was uh, the operating system I started on, you know, back in the 90s. Uh, they do have like an AOL here, free trial. Although I'm not sure why they don't have like an EXE for this. I actually want to see it load up, you know, that would be cool. Um, anything else in here? We have control panel, everything that you would expect, you know, with the uh, Windows 95 here. Uh, what else is here? You know, add, remove program, stuff like that. Although screen sharing is bad, but you can see the idea here. Now, if you didn't, if you're using this without like any screen recording, they will, you know, work normally, I believe. Uh, now it's kind of slow too. We'll see here. Why is it so slow? We're stuck here. Can't even get out. Okay, there we go. Let's get out of this though. But yeah, everything's here that you want to try. Uh, would be cool if you can actually get like, you know, games to work on here and stuff like that. Uh, so, because most people they use Wine for like the old uh, software, but if they can get this to work, that'd be cool too. Right. What else we got in here? Calculator. Where's the old Minesweeper game? Do they have that in here? I remember used to play that shit too. Where was that at? In the games or something? Yeah, Solitary, uh, Minesweeper, and I'll play this fucking thing. Um, you know, in my uh, sister's computer. Before she gets home, and this was the game I played. You know, besides like Super Nintendo and stuff like that, but uh, this was the other game. And yeah, you know, if you want to try it out, this is it. Windows 95 inside a uh, container, and works pretty well. Although I'm not sure if you can actually uh, load up your own, you know, programs that's compatible with this, and see how that works. Because they do have a flop the uh, drive option and that's how i probably say you load up software anyways check it out uh should be well it's not in your repository because it's kind of new that like, came out like what, a day or two ago and if you're in the aur just type in windows 95 you should be able to find that in you know our user repositories uh they do have like debian packages they do have like windows packages and even uh mac os all right anyways that's it for the program windows 95 taking a look back Hopefully in the future, if they did like Windows 98 and stuff like that, that'd be awesome too. All right. Anyways, that's it.